My name is Dennis Smith. Two years ago, at the first meeting of the newly elected board, the majority of that board chose to eliminate the vocal prayer before these meetings and replace it with what at first was called a moment of silence. That later was changed to a silent prayer. The reason this was done has never been explained. Every former commissioner in the county signed a petition to reinstate the vocal prayer. The petition was ignored. Then later, a new petition was submitted by Pastor Wooten with around 1,250 names asking that the vocal prayer be reinstated. This petition was also ignored. Considering the many blessings Allegheny County has been blessed with, it seems rather ungrateful and rather arrogant to the Allegheny Board of Commissioners to say, we will thank God for all these blessings by remaining silent. Christmas is almost here. Christmas, when we celebrate the ultimate gift to mankind, the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. During this season of giving, when someone gives you a gift, give them a silent thank you. How do you think that will make them feel? How would you feel if you gave a gift to someone and they gave you a silent thank you? If we believe in God and believe our rights are given to us by God, and we believe that God is the source of all wisdom and knowledge, why are we ashamed? to thank Him and ask Him for His guidance vocally. Tonight, I'm asking you to reinstate the vocal prayer before these meetings. The decision <coughs> you make will be entered into your permanent record. But before you make that decision, consider this. I was able to visit 98 North Carolina County websites. Of 98 counties, 77 have a vocal prayer before their meetings. 11 ignore God. 5 didn't provide enough information to know what they do. 3 have a moment of silence. 1 has a non sectarian prayer. And Allegheny County is what they call a silent prayer. Since this is the first meeting of the newly elected commissioners, I'd like to read a prayer from the United States Senate. This prayer was offered at the beginning of a new session of Congress. The prayer applies well to this meeting. O Lord our God, if ever we needed thy wisdom and thy guidance, it is now. As the Congress begins a new session, Standing upon the threshold of a new year, fraught with so many dangerous opportunities. We pray that thou wilt bless these men, chosen by the people of this nation. For thou knowest them, their needs, their motives, their hopes, and their fears. Lord Jesus, put thine arm around them to give them strength. Speak to them to give them wisdom greater than their own. May they hear thy voice and seek thy guidance. May they remember that thou art concerned about what is said and done here. And may they have clear conscience before thee that they need fear no man. Bless each of us according to our deepest need and use us for thy glory. We humbly ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah.